South Africa is currently conducting its third census in 17 years. This tabulation is aimed at increasing efficiency of service delivery to poor areas. The government says the last census in 2001 was inaccurate, with residents being undercounted by 17 percent. Now, while many are hopeful the new census will result in changes in their lives, others remain doubtful. These yellow-bibbed men and women will be a common sight throughout South Africa until the end of October. They're among 156,000 census workers, or Statistics South Africa enumerators, counting the population from Johannesburg's impoverished township of Alexandria to the rich and posh Santon city and the rest of the country. But many South Africans say local governments have failed to provide jobs, housing, sanitation and medical services and have instead promoted a culture of nepotism. The ruling African National Congress says the census is aimed at improving service delivery to all. As they give details about how many children they have and how many may share one room, residents of Alexandria say they hope the census is a sign of better days to come. We feel dehumanized because we live in a rat-infested place and our homes are at risk of being sold. It is bad. The government should empathize because we are human too. At times we do not have running water and electricity, but they say this is Johannesburg. Our situation is bad. They should help us. Many South Africans say they're concerned about their society, that the rich and politically connected are becoming richer, the poor are trapped in poverty, and the middle class have few options. Ahead of last year's World Cup, which South Africa hosted, angry residents took to the streets demanding better government services and living conditions. Officials say this year's census is the first step in providing those services. If you want to do development, if you want to build schools, you want to build houses, you want to build clinics, if we have a lot of one-year-old children now, in another five or six years they must go to high school, are we going to have enough schools for them? Or do we have enough clinics for them? How does a society know these things? if he doesn't take a census. So a census is incredibly important from, for government to plan. During the 21 days of counting, census field workers will cover more than 14 million households at an estimated cost of more than $150 million. The enumerators will need to be brave as well. Reports of violence against them, even attempted rape, led the census to call an urgent meeting this week Officials have pleaded with citizens to open their often barricaded and dog-guarded doors to the enumerators because some residents are afraid. South Africa has high rates of unemployment, crime and economic disparity. Although residents say they feel a bit more optimistic about this year's census, analysts say the government needs to do more than just rely on the numbers. There hasn't been any literature that's emerged to show that these processes particularly lead to a different orientation in terms of social planning, in terms of um, business policy, in terms of economic policy. The weakness lies in the fact that we are failing to link these numbers with any kind of forward movement. Numbers are useful, but numbers without action and numbers which we don't interpret appropriately don't do much for us. In 2011, South Africa's economic growth slowed in the second quarter to 1.3 percent, down sharply from 4.5 percent in the first quarter. South Africa exited its first recession in almost two decades in the third quarter of 2009, but continued to shed jobs. The government has said the economy needs to grow by 7 percent a year on a sustained basis to decrease the unemployment rate, which is currently more than 25 percent.